network analysis, network analysis free, it's like a chapter free. Yeah, and uh, as usual, we uh, have three points. So the first is uh, a review of our pre previous concept. Uh, last lecture, we discussed about superpositions. And today we have uh, two new topics. It's a uh, feminine equivalent circuit and Norton equivalent circuit. So we would like further like structure it, uh, our analysis. So it means that we are um, try to um, further like analysis means that we are uh, do the simplification of our circuit. Yeah, so we replace a number of uh, component which is included the original circuit by the smaller number to help us for further efficient analysis of this circuit and answer all these uh, related questions. Uh, as I said, that if we um, analysis means that we can uh, predict and answer the questions how the voltage and current distributed in each element, each component in this particular circ circuit under consideration. Yeah. So then this, uh, the further step uh, is uh, to use um, Thevenin equivalent circuit and Norton equivalent. So what does it mean? We will see today. So last week, superposition, yeah. So idea of this superposition is uh, that we enjoy the benefits from the linear theory circuit yeah linear we consider right now a linear uh, circuit and the behavior of the component of this circuit and that is why because of linear behavior we have these options superposition and this uh, help us again further decrease if necessary no uh, it's like uh, uh, the goal uh, of our analysis as usual to decrease the comp no complicity of our circuit original that finally to which help us uh, to uh, reach the answer and the superposition provide this opportunity for example if we have n number of sources of energy for example yes we can consider contribution of each these uh, sources to our final um, uh, answer. For example, say we would like to consider particular um, behavior or um, uh, distribution of the current or voltage drop on particular element, and we can consider separately. So each contribution of uh, sources which is in a particular circuit and then sum up it yeah this is what uh, how this superposition principle help us for analysis yeah and what here you can see nice analysis uh, nice uh, example of this yeah so we have two uh, source of the voltage and we would like to uh, analysis the current in this particular uh, resistor yeah and the uh, principle superposition simply help us to split it and we can analyze the uh, contribution of the source one and then source b and simply uh, sum up the current and have final answer this is what we did uh, last lecture with you no, this is how it works. Again, this applicable only for linear circuit. Yeah, if our resistor is uh, non-linear, uh, non-linear element like, for example, R, it's a uh, functions of the current for not uh, with some no, complex dependence. Say I can draw it uh, illustratively for you like uh, not here yeah no no sorry i will probably do it like this just uh say uh not 
originally we have just straight line yeah and now the principle of superposition is applied so he is r resistance he is the current right and we have a straight line how resistance depend on the it's uh, sorry it's independent actually it's independent on the current yeah so it's a drop voltage drop voltage sorry uh just a moment yeah confusing picture it's a drop voltage on this current uh, linearly depend on yeah so this is a uh, like r so u equal r i so here is a resistor yeah so it's like a scope of this line but if our uh, element non-linearly depend on uh, the current say we have something like i multiply i and we then have curved something like this yeah then uh, this is our non-linear element with the dash then all this stuff not applicable anymore yeah so please uh, be alarmed yeah about this but uh, since we are consider the linear circuit analysis we enjoy these benefits and another example here that uh, we have a different source of the energy yeah it's a voltage source and the current uh, source and as what we said before that we can include or exclude this component and this slide just a reminder uh, reminder for you how we did it yeah so if we would like to for example um set the voltage uh, voltage source to the zero what we are doing we uh, replace this uh, source of the voltage by the short circuit so no this is shown on this slide and now <clears throat> source of the voltage is removed and we consider the contribution only the current source yeah and in this case what we have we have simply the current uh, source from i i yeah and uh, we have two resistors which is uh, connected into parallel yeah and now we can calculate the drop voltage in this point and now we can answer for example what is the current say in this resistor if uh, such questions okay and if we would like right now uh, consider the contribution of uh, uh, voltage source but um, remove from our consideration the source of the current what we are doing we are replaced by open circuit yes and now we have a source of the voltage and here we have two resistor which is connected in series like this so here we have r1 r2 <clears throat> and this is the logic so this is the logic and now we can uh, consider again uh, some current here uh, which is uh, passed through the resistor uh, with index uh, 2 no say if it's questions was yeah and then to analyze and the uh, final uh, result is summation so finally e because original circuit include two sources voltage and current that's why finally we again sum up these two results from the source of the current and from the source of the voltage and then see what is the actual behavior of uh, the current in this particular um, component of our circuit no resistor for example again please also be flexible what we consider resistor and later we will of course consider capacitor inductor and if we have all this uh, reactance uh, component, yeah, uh, actually the logic absolutely identical. We replace it. Of course, there is some specific physical behavior, but finally, if instead of a DC current, we will use AC current, so, uh, um, alternative current, the logic is absolutely the identical. 
and the logic of the linear circuit still applicable all these benefits what we are right now uh, have and consider method absolutely applicable the benefits i mean from all these uh, methods like from the superposition method uh, applicable okay so uh someone sent something uh sorry i cannot react right now as i said because uh, i share my ipad screen so let's do it later uh -huh. <clears throat> and now today is a new topic it's one port networks and equivalent circuit one port networks so um idea uh, like uh, of all this consideration is a further uh, simplification of our mm, circuit yeah further simplification usually uh, we have like a source of energy and we have a louder and of course source of the energy usually it's uh, not just ideal power sources it's uh, of course included other surrounding components passive active elements which um, help us to uh, somehow convert and adjust the original value from the power sources to value what we need finally in context of the problem which we try to solve and louder and load sorry load is not actually just one component it's also usually some circuit yeah which is uh, represented of the set of elements but load and source we still able to represent through uh, consider as a as a black box with two terminals yes and replace by some equivalent like load and source it like a ideal power plus something plus some resistor for example because real what is the difference between the ideal power source and real ideal um ideal power source just power source like what we draw schematically with some for example battery yes or this battery can be represent through the circle it's just a source of the energy and uh, we said okay it's generate for us for our particular circuit say five voltage yeah or um, yeah or we have for example a source of the current real battery or real source of the current also include some element of dissipation energy this is the real so that's why when we have a deal with the real battery accumulator yeah what happens if we leave it alone even even without um uh, without louder finally we recognize that our battery uncharged why because it include it uh, consists of some other uh, like uh, passive element resistor which is dissipate energy slowly yeah we have also capacitor inductance and so on and so on so this is everything uh, is included and uh, today we would like to somehow what already um, and we have this opportunity to our ideal source of the energy replace somehow real source real means that ideal power plus so in our case resistor so element which is dissipate energy or or element which is um, uh, represent the surrounding uh, component which help us adjust uh, this particular original uh, source of the power to our solving problem yeah but it's everything is included and finally we can replace by this uh, circuit by just uh, two or one company well this is the benefits again and i think of course this is uh, good for our further analysis no here uh, we see it's an example 
like uh, what we have in our daily log. We have uh, like this plugin, and this is the our um, probably laptop or probably iPhone. Yeah. So we have a source and we have load. We just connect them, and uh, yeah. So this is the idea. Yeah, and <clears throat> usually. Um, And when we replace, we replace it by block. So uh, as I, I said, the, the, the linear network, yeah, uh, we have a circuit. We replace it by block. Block means that we have two terminals. And this, uh, so we replace uh, this uh, entire source or the load uh, by block, which is uh, represent all this um, circuit through the smaller number of uh, components. As I said that for source, we uh, can do it. Actually, we discuss it in details um, by two uh, components, ideal source of the um, energy voltage or source of the current plus resistor. For load, we can do also the same. Yeah, and we uh, replace by block all this circuit. Block has two terminals, and these uh, two terminals we connect to another two terminals, uh, load and source. Yeah, and this we called uh, like one port network. This configuration, as I said, it's called uh, one port network. Is particularly useful for intro introducing the no, uh, notion of the equivalent circuit. So again, what we said, yeah, uh, this is what I said already. Yeah, we have a circuit. This circuit we split on the like uh, source of energy, voltage, or current, and another part we split and consider as a load, and uh, we connect them and we represent them through the blocks, which has two terminals, just two terminals, and that's it. Yeah, and then we connect them, and such what representation of our original circuit we called one port network. Usually, uh, in this slide, you can see how we are doing this. For example, uh, say we have a, a circuit which is in, consists of uh, a source of the voltage, and we have a network which is include uh, some number of resistors. Yeah, and uh, the logic. Suggest why not to consider like source of the voltage separately and uh, louder here. Like uh, also, so it's clear that we can uh, represent this free resistor through the equivalent one resistor. And now we can have our like block of source and block of louder, and then play with such things. And again, source of the energy can be replaced by the source of the voltage or source of the current. We will see later that they are equivalent. Yeah, so this is the ideas. So when we uh, replace our, for example, source of the voltage or source of the current through the equivalent scheme, we are So called, we are considered from the uh, louder po point of view. Yeah, from the louder point. So, <clears throat> so it means from the load point of view. So, okay. So when we represent our cir circuit uh, sir source through the equivalent scheme, we consider from the load point of view, it means that 
we need somehow treat in the right way this uh, connection of the load to this source in such a way that we able to properly like represent or have equivalent circuit. This is what called the uh, view it when we view it from the load point of view, because like source. We keep it like it is, yeah, and then we play, of course, and with the source we also play, but uh, uh, load we are for um, equivalent representation. Sometimes we are connected, disconnected or uh, replace it through the short circuit. Say, as what I said, that uh, say we have a source which is represent like a circuit, and this circuit we can actually replace uh, by already uh, equivalent scheme, which is consist only source of ideal voltage and equivalent uh, some resistor. Uh, and if we okay, and if we, for example, replace at the same times instead of source of the voltage, we can use the source of the current. They are equivalent, and uh, then representation looks like this. And this is the idea of equivalent circuit, and we consider from the louder again. So what does it mean? I would explain. If it's not clear, then we consider particular equivalent circuit representation. Um, there is a steps. Uh, I hope you will understand this. Yeah, if not, then keep it like questions. I will separately try to discuss and answer. So. Why actually it's possible? Uh, because there is a two uh, theorems, no theorems. Yeah, I think it's more like a statement which uh, belongs to Thevening. No, they called it Thevening, Thevening theorems theorem, uh, which is a state that uh, when view it from the lo lo load, any network composed of ideal voltage and current source. So it means here we represent. It's not just single uh, source of the volt, it's a composition of the voltage and the current source. And of linear resistor may be represented by an equivalent circuit consisting of an ideal voltage source in series, connected in series with the resistor RT, so called it's equivalent. So I mean this source of the voltage. In terms of Thevenin theorem include also the source of the current. Yeah, keep in mind we have like example then. So it's just key proof that actually all this set, all this number of the sources we can represent and the surrounding uh, like resistors we can represent just through the two uh, component ideal uh, source of the voltage and the resistor. I think it's very good, nice achievement. Norton said that we can do the same, but uh, replace it with the ideal source of the current, which is in parallel connected with the resistor. So I mean, Norton. He just said, but I think it's uh, somehow uh, uh, really they, I mean, did it separately. Probably they somehow did it uh, at the same time and people just split it. Uh, their contribution and name, for example, Thevenin theorem and Norton theorem, because it's e easily understand that you use, for example, source of the voltage, ideal source of the voltage. Uh, in this case, you use the source of the current because uh, I mean this is like equivalent anyway representation but uh, no case okay, say we will use the same notation anyway so Norton theorem Norton that just again climbed that we can do the same but instead of uh, source of the voltage we can uh, replace it by the source of the current Again, uh, it's a possible logic uh, 
just again because of uh, the linear theory, linear circuit, that, that's why just through the Ohm's law we can do it and somehow reach this um, statement of the Norton theorem. I don't know who was the first, Norton or Fellingen. Yeah, probably they did it both at the same time. Okay, this is the idea. So again, back to our original discussion that we have a set, some circuit, and we consider this circuit, which is including uh, source of the current and volume as a source of the energy for particular load. And we have option using this nice result, Thevenin theorem and Norton theorem, replace all the circuit just by two components. Depend on you and you're solving the problem. Yeah, through the ideal voltage, source of the voltage and the resistor, which is connected in the series, or through the current source. And in this case, the resistor is connected in the parallel. This is nice, brilliant idea. But another point that when you consider the source of the voltage, actually this representation uh, still valid because you must keep in like keep in mind. Then you like consider some or solving some your real problem. You have a like battery. You have your load. Uh, them, use this energy to perform some um, uh, something. I mean, depend on what problem you try to solve, but you should keep in mind that the accumulator or battery, yeah, is some resistor is included, must be included if you are want to consider the effect of this. It's important also. It's not just we replace uh, so one case that we able to replace particular circuit which help us to analyze because we just have only two components instead of circuit. But at the same time, it's applicable for real source of the voltage. So if you consider your source of the energy as a voltage, then you should keep in mind that there is some resistor in parallel which is inside this black box. Or if you consider as a source of the current, then uh, resistor are connected in parallel. So in series, in the first time, it's parallel. Okay, and now we are proceed how we can actually obtain this uh, equivalent uh, circuit. Uh, <clears throat> what we are discussing right now, we have like um, the the goal of uh, right now. Our goal is how. We can apply this Thevenin theorem and replace for here illustrative example what you have this circuit, which is consists of three resistor one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, yeah, and the source of the voltage. And we have a load here, yeah. And now idea how we can apply this. Thevenin theorem to actually represent this through just two components. Yeah, this is the idea. I think it's clear. Yeah, and there is a procedure which we discuss with you right now and I present for you. First of all, we remove the load, leaving the terminals open circuit. So then we will have something like this. Yeah. So no, no, right now we don't have a load. And we right now must calculate what is the voltage, drop voltage here, the OC, sorry, OC cross. Actually, this is, um, uh, you see a typo, it's not a typo, it's uh, just because of convertition. I mean, sorry for this, it's, uh, I use the iPad, and somehow I recognize that some letter converted, I don't know why, in the not the right way. So that's why in the original slide, this not OC, it should be AB, I think. It's AB. 
So we are right now try to define the open circuit voltage here across the open load terminal. So we remove the terminals and now we try to find drop voltage. Here, of course, you can apply any method. Yeah, I think uh, the logic suggests here to use this node voltage analysis and matrix uh, method, what we discussed previously, because we want to have a drop voltage. Yeah. And then once you calculate what is the drop voltage here, actually, this is our VT. So we find this ideal source of the voltage. It's a one component, and then we need to uh, find the second one. It's a resistor for this. <clears throat> we need to disconnect all voltage and the current source and find the resulting resistor when uh, looking from the load, uh, the load from the load. So it means that we disconnect and uh, also keep disconnected our load. This is means what from the load. And uh, to remove voltage again, what we discuss in our last lecture about superposition, we and what the beginning of this lecture, we replace it by the short, short circuit. No, what, yeah, some such uh, representation of this, I mean, such way how we want to. And what we have, since we have here short circuit, so the resistor here is a, we have two parallel resistor, it means uh, connected in parallel R1 and R2, and then we have connection with this. So total, uh, just a moment. Uh, yeah, so total uh, RT, it's a summation of R1 parallel to R2 plus are free. Yeah, and that's it. This is the answer for our. <coughs> this is the way how we can right now uh, represent equivalently uh, our um, circuit. So you see, instead of one, two, three, four component, we will have just one, two. So and uh, here actually this is what we have. So finally, how we calculate our uh, VT, and this is how we calculate our RT. And then we connect the louder. So it means uh, this, this uh, original and the new circuit, they are equivalent from the point of view source of energy and load. So now we have two blocks block. So this is a uh, block one and uh, so just draw it for you. So we have block one. This is a, a source source of uh, voltage, yeah, and we have another block. This is a load. So this is concept, and now we apply this concept. Of course, of course, what we can do, we can transfer from the original circuit to equivalent, but we have no chance already to recover this. So if originally you have such equivalent representation, you cannot know what actually was the original circuit. So <laughs> also please keep in mind. OK. If no questions, let uh, calculate. So here what you see, uh, it's a circuit. It uh, must be Omega. This is just a problem with this uh, uh, Apple technology. They convert it is not properly because I check it. It's original version. I mean, of this slide doesn't have actually this uh, typo. So it's just what arise for some reason. I have no idea what is the reason. So let's uh, practice what we just calculate with you and uh, apply our knowledge 
for this particular circuit and uh, find the equivalent uh, equivalent circuit. Yeah, equivalent means that we are looking for again uh, voltage, ideal voltage, source of ideal voltage, and the resistor. So again, what we are doing first uh, first step, yeah, it's a disconnection. Yeah, we disconnect our loader yeah so and uh, now we have something like this so the voltage you will have two parallel resistor and we have one resistor like this so now idea is that we need to find the drop voltage here on the resistor three kilo ohm kilo ohm here we have one kilo ohm and here we have two kilo ohm yeah so how we uh, solve this uh, problem so here five voltage <clears throat> so we need calculate uh, total total um, re um, uh, resistance total resistance yeah, and then divided this total resistance, equivalent resistance of this free resistor, uh, we divided uh, so five voltage, we divided by this equivalent resistance. Uh, and then we multiply, we find the current, and then we, uh, so uh, Vt will be uh, equal free. No, I like, escape the notation multiply by the current yeah and we how are we looking for the current it's a voltage divided by uh, two divided by three it's a parallel it's a value of the parallel connection of this resistor one and two with uh, one kilo ohm and two kilo ohm plus three kilo ohms yeah so I uh, will draw it here. So please keep in mind then somehow result. I will I will just keep on the paper you know, that we able to uh, compare uh, our result with the uh, uh, with the equivalent representation uh, using the Norton Norton uh, theorem. So what we have, so we have our voltage T equal, so, and we have here 2 plus 3, it will be 9, and it will be 9, it will be voltage 9, and the T equal Nine divided by eleven v. No v in our case it's equal five. No, just keep it like this because five number is not so important. So first step done. Yeah. So I clean up everything. Just uh, <clears throat> just uh, draw the separately uh, for you <coughs> result. So this is what we have so far yeah we have v t equal 9 11 b no instead of v we can substitute 5 yes we have a source of the voltage this is our first result yeah sorry and now we want to find the resistor so i clean up it and for resistor what we are doing we are remove our uh, battery yes yeah, so remove means that we replace it by short circuit so now we connect these two points just with this wire no uh, source of the voltage and then rt actually it's a summation of three parallel resistors so we have one plus two plus three what like this so and rt equal one 
plus one two plus one three and what we have we have like um so it will be six yes yeah? six plus three plus two and he will have again six yeah i think i did it correctly so and we have six divided by eleven uh, let me check yeah six divided by eleven so okay so this is how how it is so now i clean up it excuse me yeah i may be amazed with something but can you repeat please once again uh, from the start with, about this example okay uh, uh, <clears throat> example we right now try to replace all this circuit just use the uh, having uh, theorems through the equivalent source of the voltage and the resistor rt which is connected to our load 7 kilo ohm this is what we are doing and now we find that the t is equal 9 over 11 v and the rt it's 6 over 11 kilo ohm this is the idea and we use a uh, feminine theorem to have our final result. So these two components, they are equivalent to the original circuit from the source point of view and load point of view. Uh, I understand that point, but can you repeat this once again, how you calculated VT and RT? For VT, uh, we remove uh, resistor. So we calculate just drop, drop voltage on this point and I draw the equivalent circuit. So it means no loud here. Mm -hmm. So VT, it's a voltage drop voltage here between these two terminals without resistor, seven kilo ohm. It's kilo ohm is again, it's type of just because of Apple technology. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. So how you calculated that? Just uh, you uh, just use our method. We actually um, you can. It's up to you. We have two method. No, I think the circuit is quite simple. So what we did, we calculate the current, which is passed through the all these two resistors. To calculate this current, we calculate equivalent resistors for uh, no, for all, for this free one so we replace three by one and this current which is passed through and this is i is also here then we i multiply by uh, three kilo ohm resistor ah, okay so just found the voltage on the resistor of three kilo ohm Correct. No, this is as I said that we are looking for drop voltage in this terminal. Okay. Between two points. Mm -hmm. And okay, then and we find the uh, equivalent resistance for the circuit without yeah. the resistor with seven kilo ohm. Right. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but uh, forget exclude this uh, voltage source. To exclude this voltage voltage source, you must replace it by short circuit okay but uh, then in calculation shouldn't it be uh, like resistor one and resistor two are parallel and resistor three is uh, consequent no. with them two no, no. then you have this is a short circuit this is equivalent representation one two three so i mean one two ah three. i see sorry Okay. Okay, done. So please uh, keep in mind this result. So we have uh, these two results I have in my paper. That's why I can easily to recover. So, and now we proceed to the Norton theorem. <coughs> so Norton, again, we actually uh, applied to the, the same uh, circuit. Yeah, same circuit. Uh, and we want to replace this by two components. Yeah, so for this, 
the trick only that instead of uh, how we actually remove this um, remove uh, or replace the louder. In this case, uh, the, the louder is replaced by short circuit. So it means to replace, we cannot just leave it like uh, replace it by open circuit, like what we did in Thevenin theorem. Yeah, we uh, replace it by short circuit. Uh -huh. OK, I hope you get it. This is the trick only. And once uh, we replace it, we need to find what is the current here, what in this, uh, what pass through this uh, part of the circuit, which we replace by short circuit. So now we need to find this current, and this current will be actually Norton current. Yeah, OK. So you, I hope you understand. And this is help us to find again how we can find. We can just apply the way uh, any method. Again, I suggest because we need the current, then probably the mesh method, mesh current method is the best choice because then you answer uh, immediately. You uh, find the answer in the current. This is what we need. And that's it. And again, to find the resistor Rn, we are repeat the same trick as what we did in the Thevenin theorem. So we disconnect. So instead of like a short circuit, we disconnect in this case our loader and disconnect the loader and replace and remove all the source of the energy current or voltage in the way how we discuss in the superposition method okay in this case since we are actually come to the equivalent circuit in, in terms of resistor as what we consider in the Thevenin theorem so it's a very important conclusion that equivalent resistor resistance in Norton and Thevenin theorem they are equal to each other. <clears throat> okay, now uh, we apply this method to again the same circuit. Again, what we are doing right now, uh, we uh, first step, we need to find the current current I N. Yeah, so what we are doing, we are replace the our loader. In, in our case, seven kilo ohm is uh, our loader. Load, yeah, we replace it by short circuit. Like this, so and we want to find what is the current here. So it means that uh, equivalent circuit will be like this, look like this. We have a two parallel uh, resistor. And here, so our N, uh, I with index N, it's here. And this is one and two. And we have five voltage. Yeah, that is why I N simply equal five. No, OK, so let's use the V, just V, because it's easier than to compare. Mm. We have a V. So we are looking for the current, right? So that's why the current is a V divided by two parallel resistor. Yeah, they're connected parallel. That's why we have two divided by three. So we have three over two V. This is the current. Ah, N, sorry, this not V, it's N. Yeah, done. So that's why I keep it the result for you. 
here 3 over 2 m v. This is our current. So, and now we need to find the resistor. No, actually, we have it already. Yeah, that's why I just suggest to use our previous result. So, that's why uh, the current, the RT to uh, find right now <clears throat> resistor. So, what we uh, we are looking for RN. Yeah, so what we are doing, so uh, we again remove, uh, remove our loader like here, and we again shorted our source of the voltage, and we come to again, and once we remove, we can see it again from the load point of view. It means we are interested in what the equivalent resistance is here. This is means uh, R equivalent, yeah. And we uh, have the same resistance, so it's a connection of in parallel free resistor. And I, as what we said, that R R N equal R T. And uh, in our previous calculation, we showed that this is actually a six over eleven, like this. Okay. And uh, I think uh, I think that's it. And now another point. So I have I have no questions. It's clear what we did. Yeah. So finally, here with this parameter, we can replace uh, what this part, this part. We replace it by the source of the current. Source of the current here will be three over two v. So multiply by five. So instead v, which must end, we have resistor in parallel. And here we have uh, seven kilo ohm, yeah, and this resistor, no, yeah, defined what like this. This is our equivalent circuit. So and now again we have just two blocks representation. It's a called uh, one port representation, uh, one port network, yeah, and we uh, re represent our source of the energy via uh, source of the current and uh, and the uh, resistor. That's it. Excuse me uh, once again. Yeah. So our source of the current in that case would be three over two multiplied by five. Multiply by five. Yes, correct. OK, and uh, I'm sorry once again, but can you repeat how you calculated uh, I uh, and I saw that you um, like change the resistor for seven kilo ohm uh, to the short circuit. Correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, so we and, and, so, we and because of that, we throw out the resistor with three kilo ohm. Correct, because it's short, uh, it's a short circuit. Yeah, we replace it according to the requirement of uh, Norton. So for Norton equivalent, our requirement is to replace uh, the resistor with short circuit, and for yep. the uh, theorem uh, equivalent, we uh, replace it with open circuit. Correct. Right. And then we just check as uh, in one case the voltage, in another case the current on uh, like between two points. Yes, but in this case we don't have two points. If we shot circuit, if it's uh, shorted, no shorted. Yeah, we can use this yes. also. To shot it. If it's shorted, we want to know what is the current here. Yeah. So, so we just no the like score, no, no score like. Of ampermeter 
in that place. So, yes, right. We just shot it because okay. if you like connect here the ampere meter, yeah, it, it automatically remove this uh, resistor because in ideal ampere meter the uh, internal resi resistance is zero. Yeah, it's shorted. Which is one, once you replace or connect it, then you just automatically remove this uh, resistor. And then uh, you see if we connect it, then we just looking for the current. So if you continue, you will see that current will be flow here, here the same. Yes. But here um, it's also, here will be one and two. So it's a so different. So can you please correct in the your hard written circuit about the uh, current power, like current of the source in the new equivalent circuit? That okay. it is uh, three over two multiplied by five. Yeah, three. This is the current of the source, like this. Okay, I I, I just suggest you to write it uh, explicitly uh, that yeah. it is three over two multiplied by five for for slides right. because later, if somebody would see, it might be quite confusing. Yeah, so but just it's substitute it's, 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 V with five and everything here, right? Yeah, but uh, mm. yeah, but uh, yes, you can you can do it. I mean, okay. So let me then. Uh, I have a last slide, and then you can ask questions. We have okay. not last, last Thank slides. Thank you. Yeah. So the next point is that actually, as I said, that there is uh, since we consider uh, we work and we are still in the fr framework of the linear theory. That's why all this relationship between Thevenin and Norton circuit, uh, we have a relationship through the Ohm's law. And this Ohm's law is shown here. So that's why what we did previously, we can also uh, like check, is it correct or not? So if we, no, okay, so this is clear, yeah? So this is the result. So that uh, uh, ideal source of the voltage for the Thevenin theorem is equal to resistor multiplied by the current source of the current taken from uh, Norton theorem. Okay, and we can actually apply this result to what to what in framework of our discussion. So what we said that V T equal R T, actually R T is also equal R, uh, R N, so they are the same, multiply by the source of the current. Let's check it. So for example, what we have, if we multiply right now uh, our result at the three over two, V multiply by six over 11. So we will have like nine, over 11 V. Yeah, if we return to our uh, original side, uh, slide, so we can see that we have the same result. 